Well, time for another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. What I'm doing right now is rolling ink out on a sheet of plexiglass. I'm going to put paper over that ink. And then I'm going to draw and rub on the back of that paper, transferring ink to the front. First thing I'm going to do is tape it down so it doesn't move. And then I want to know where that ink is at. It's, I've got it inside a rectangle of tape. And I can usually you know, feel the edge of that tape. Oops. Usually. And then drag this along that edge. It tells me where my ink is at. It tells me where I need to draw. I think I'm going to do something just a little bit for fun. Just draw from my imagination. I'm going to put an old old wagon wheel in here. And some spokes on that wheel. There we go. And Kind of fun to play with. Interesting old shape. A little shadow down here. Put a little shadow down here too. Oh, I suppose I should put this thing in the out in some weeds here, huh? Leaning on a fence post. Probably should put some wire on that fence post. Some barbs on that wire. And 
And I can put a shadow on that fence post too. I can, sh I can transfer ink just with the pressure of my hand to my finger down there and transfer a little. Put a little hill in here. Put a ridge back out in there. Transfer the link. Maybe we just put a one little cloud in the sky. Oh, I know what we need. We need a pretty good shadow down in here. Maybe I better even draw that with a pen. Let's take a peek. See what we got. Oh yeah, let's do this. Oh, Cleo, we got a little puppy in here who's being very naughty. Come here, you. No. <laughs> No. She wants some attention, so she st stole a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> That's a new one, Cleo. Alright, let's take a peek again. Back to what we're doing. Alright, we're good. <laughs> I guess maybe I should play with her after this drawing for a little bit, huh? Can't have puppies stealing rolls of toilet paper. You little bugger. You little bugger. Alright, let's uh, slap some paint on here and be done with this. I'm going to put a board underneath it in case I want to do a watercolor wash. And let's see. Let's give this a Give that a little color. We'll make it a little contrasty color. And let's add some shadows to that. It's dark. Yeah, it's dark. All 
All right, let's get rid of that. Yikes. Put paint down and take the paint away, huh? Okay, thanks. Let's put some color in here. Got a new color I've just been using the last couple of weeks. So indigo, nice kind of blue violet, almost blackish. There's a real beautiful undertone to it. So we get that. Contrast in those. In that color out, give this a stir. Using some earth tones now. A little dark, add a little water, makes it lighter. A little lighter yet. You know what? I think a bigger brush, huh? That's a time saver. Let's come back with a little color in here too.
I guess in lieu of staying in the lines, I can always push it back inside the lines. Huh? Lighten and brighten that a little bit. I kind of want to see this right side up for me too. Back to my littler brush. Putting some shadows in with blue. Sorry about the sideways view, it just kind of every now and then helps for me to look at this right side up. There we are still. Uh, back to that big brush. Not doing much, am I? I'm painting with water. I want to put that down first and then come back and put a real soft, soft blue in here for the sky. And then I want to edge here going this way, so I'm going to turn it so I can point the brush at that line that I want. You want me to go outside, Cleo? Here, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Working with a puppy. Not a good plan. Nasty. Okay. All right, good enough. I got a little mess to clean up over here. Cleo, you're okay. Uh, so I'm going to sign this in pencil. We'll call it um, we'll call it the trail. Sign it. Zimmerman, date it 2020. And there's what we're calling the trail. Hope you had fun watching. Bye for now.